Hey, everybody. I'm back. He's back. I'm back. Mommy, you've all been waiting for him. He finally recovered from his last one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our Wednesday workout. We're going to warm up with our usual. We're going to rock side to side, hug those knees, and just massaging that lower back out into the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to gently hug our right knee to our chest. Left leg will be out straight, and we're going to go side to side. So take your time on this. You can just stretch, reach, relax. If you wanted to have one foot down on the ground, you could. It's really kind of up to you, whatever you feel like you need to do. Right, and so today's workout, we're going to do lots of obliques. If you don't know where your obliques are, they're right by your sides. Right, and we call those the waist woodworks. So you're going to go one more to each side. Then you're going to have your right leg up straight, you'll grab behind your hamstring or calf, and we're going to alternate there. Right, and so it's kind of rainy today. So the perfect cure for rainy day blues is Pilates. And you know the old saying, the more you sweat, the less it rains. So the weather's counting on you today. You better work hard, right? If you're not sweaty at the end of this and it's still raining, we're going to blame you. So you're going to go one more to each side. Then you're going to relax those legs down. And we're going to go into our modified bicycle crunch. So hands behind your heads. We're going to hop elbow, opposite knee. And just nice and easy, you're going side to side. Right? That's not so bad. So remember, you want to make sure that that lower back is pressed down. Make sure that you always have a foot down on the ground. Right? Don't be crazy here. I promise we'll be plenty crazy for you. So crazy that you'll be like, oh, gosh. Somebody tell that girl to take a nap. She's done too much Pilates. So in about 10 seconds here, we're going to go into a more isolated move and really just focus on our core. Okay? So we're going to go one more on each side. Here's one. Here's two. You're going to hold your crunch in the middle. You're going to bring your right leg towards you. It's going to come down. So as you're doing this, really focus on keeping that lower back pressed down. Inhale, your leg comes in. Exhale, comes down. Okay? So in 10 seconds, we'll go to our left leg. And then we'll switch to our next move. So let's go one more. Keeping our right leg down. Left leg comes toward you and back. So really just nice and controlled here. Making sure you're pushing your back down. Uh -huh. You got about 10 seconds. And then we're going to go into some bridges. Okay, you got five seconds. Let's do two more. Here's one. Here's two. You're going to relax. Head's coming down. You've got your slow and controlled bridges. So you're going to inhale in. Exhale, we press up. Squeeze those glutes. Nice, easy inhale coming back. Right, so making sure every time you press up, you are squeezing your glutes, right? You should be very aware if you're squeezing your glutes, right? If you don't know where your glutes are, you just send me an email and I'll tell you, right? <laughs> or we can just do an all glute workout until you learn where they are. You just say the word, right? So what you're going to do now, what you're going to do, you're going to bridge. You're going to go on your tiptoes. Heels come down, you come down. Bridge. Tiptoes, back, down, right? So we're kind of doing what we've done before. You're just going to do a few more bridges with it, right? We're trying to test how smart you are. Can you go off routine, right? This is going to mess with your brain because you're going to go, oh my gosh, she's switching it up so much. What's wrong with her? Okay, so next one, we're just going to say, no, we'll just do your tiptoes, I promise. Right, stretch out those ankles, stretch out those calves. Uh-huh. Then you're going to stay up on those tiptoes. Heels going to come up and down. Heels, I mean hips. Hips. I know my body parts, I swear. I took anatomy. I just didn't have enough coffee. That's what the problem is. So you got about 10 seconds here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? We got about five seconds, and then we're going to go to our side. So we got three. Here's two. Here's one. You're going to relax, and you're going to go to your side. All right, so you could be on your elbow. You can be down further if you want. I don't care. We're starting with our top leg. It's going to take up and down. All right, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So just nice and easy. We're just going up and down, feeling good. All right, this is just a classic Pilates move. Classically. Nah, there's nothing classic about this workout. This is like Mary's Pilates, which means that I do whatever I want. That's what it is. 
So in five seconds, we're gonna kick forward. Okay, so do one more. Okay, core is tight. You're gonna kick forward and then come back. Forward and back. So making sure you're keeping that core tight, right? You wanna make sure your body's not moving. He's not, he can't kick, he's not flexible enough. He'll try as hard as he can, but he can't. Right, and look, we're six feet apart. His legs not even touching me. Okay, you got 10 seconds, and in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna try to kick him. You have five seconds. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna bring your leg behind and come in. So keeping your core tight, right? You shouldn't be moving your body, right? On this, it's hard to kick, but this is how you can practice social distance, right? So like, if someone's getting too close to you, you say, whoa, 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 back up. You go to the grocery store, you kick them, you say, I need my toilet paper, don't come near me. I need my almond milk, get out of here, right? Because you never know what's sold out of the store. Right now, I can't find flour anywhere, right? People must be like baking bread for days, I don't know. Okay, we got five seconds, right? Can a girl make some cookies? Not without flour. Gosh, two more. Yeah, one, yeah, two. And we're gonna relax and switch sides. I almost kicked them. I almost. All right, so, yeah, making sure I did the right leg to switch. I like sticking up and out. Sometimes I forget which leg I'm on. But you guys know that. You know that. Uh -huh. So just nice and easy. We're kicking my leg up and down. See, look how flexible he's getting. This shows you men can do bodies and get strong. And I promise you, it kicks his butt every day. He cries when he does it. Every day. Every day. I say, hey, do you want to try to do this exercise? But he gets afraid to work out next to me because, you know, like he can't keep up, obviously. So you got two more. Okay, and then we're going to kick forward and back. I had to have Chris join me in class today because I don't have anybody to pick on. Right? After a while, you just pick on yourself and it gets old. Right? He's not kicking me again. He can't do that. He probably pulls on me. He's getting later in his 30s. He can't do any kind of weird shenanigans. I could, but, you know, he'd probably try to kick me and throw his back out and not be able to walk around. We got two more. Here's one. Here's two. Okay, now we're going to kick behind. Oh, those are hard. These are just awkward, I think. Right? It's hard to kick backwards and control your body. Why is that a thing? I don't, I don't know. Those are the sound effects you should make while you work out. Very scientific, right? You get 45% better results when you when you work out. That's science. You can't argue science here, okay? I'm giving you the pure facts. You have five seconds. You got one. Here is two. You're going to relax. We're going to our hands and our knees. Okay, so if it bothers your wrist to be on your hands, you'll go to your elbows. It's not going to matter. Right, we're still getting you warmed up. Head's looking straight down, you're just gonna alternate. You're gonna kick out one leg and then the other. Okay, so you're just going side to side. You're stretching out your legs. You're pointing your toes, right? And we're gonna do kind of a few plank-ish type moves today. Plank-ish is the key word here though, okay? It's not gonna be anything too crazy. Okay, and in about 15 seconds, we're gonna go to alternating fire hydrants, right? Why do they call it the fire hydrant, you think? Five seconds, right? Take a male dog on a walk and figure it out, I bet. Okay, so fire hydrant, we're going wide, wide. So I used to have, growing up, we had a female dog and she would lift her leg on wax. So there's something, you know? So we got about, I don't know, 15 seconds. We're going on merry time today. I'm not, I'm not even gonna pay attention to the watch. We're just gonna switch on exercises whenever I want to. Okay, we got 10 seconds. And you should be warming up right now. You should be a little bit sweaty. I'm sweating, are you? I'm sweating. He doesn't sweat, I guess. Five seconds, one more on each leg. Okay, and now we're just gonna warm up the shoulders and arms. We're going arms straight out, arms straight out, right? I got an old lady swimmer shoulder here. So I really got to stretch it out. That's why we're doing these. I got to warm up for me. I don't want you guys to be like, whew, what's wrong with her shoulder? Girl's messed up. Okay, we got about five seconds. One more on each side. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the side. 
and back, right? Twist in, reach in. Ooh, that feels nice. I think it does. You should too. So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna get started with our workout today. Okay, we got five seconds. Let's go one more to each side. Here is one, here is two. Okay, so what we're gonna do, our first set here is gonna be all about your obliques and a little bit of hip action, okay? So we're gonna start on our left side. We're gonna do three moves until we switch sets. So do not switch in between. You heard me, I said it. Okay, so option number one, you're gonna be in a side plank. You have the option you can have your left knee down, you can raise up, and you'll do our up and over motion. Okay, so that's your option number one. If you want to make it harder, you're on both feet and you're going up and over there. Okay, so choose which one you want. I'm gonna get my watch all ready to go so I can tell time. Okay, and then after that, we got two more moves and I'll show you what they always go. Okay, so go ahead and get started. So remember, you can be on that left knee and kick up and over. If this absolutely did not feel good to you, stay down on your hip, right? Just like we've done before and kick up and over, okay? You've got 15 seconds, okay? Nice and controlled, okay? We got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna do some oblique knees. Five seconds, we got three, two, one. Drop that hip down, you're gonna have your left arm out straight. On this, you have the option, you can go one leg up and down, or if you can, you're gonna go both, okay? Make sure you use your left arm on the ground to help you lift up, to help you roll up. Okay, you're doing a great job. Making sure you use that left arm, right? Do a single arm if you need to. If your hip hurts, you could roll up your mat or roll back to that glute. Okay, you got 10 seconds until we hold and go into our next move. Okay, five seconds. Okay, let's do one more. Stay up, kick those legs, okay? We're gonna do small, fast kicks. Point your toes, kick from your hips, not your knees. Can you tell who was the better kicker in swimming? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> okay, try to stay up tall. 15 seconds, and then we switch out. 10 seconds, hold on to it. Stay lifted. Five, four, three, Two, one, and relax. Other side. Okay, so remember, you have the option on your knee or on your toes. We're gonna go ahead and get started. You're going up and over. Hit up and over. Right, if you've got both feet out, perfect. If you need to modify, perfect. Right, you do you. You do you, and you are perfect. How about that? Literally perfect. Okay, you're doing a great job. I love it. Ten seconds. Keep it up. You've got five. Hang on to it. Three, two, one. You're going to relax. Okay, right arm is out. Remember, you're using that arm to lift up into a single leg crunch or both. Okay, do what you need to do. Modify as we need to. Use that right arm to help you lift up, okay? 15 seconds until we hold in that flutter kick. You're almost there. 10 seconds. You got five. You got three. You can lift and hold, and you can flutter, okay? Try to step as high as you can. Point your toes. Small, fast kicks. Your knees should not bend. If they bend and you go swimming, you're gonna sink. And I don't want you to sink in water. I'm giving you a free swim lesson. You're welcome. 15 seconds. Stay lifted up. 10 seconds. Oh yeah, it's just not starting to burn. Maybe we should just keep repeating. You got three, two, one, relax. All right, so that's our little oblique set. Now we're going to move on. So this next set, we're going to be kind of in a plank hovering position. So you can have your hands underneath those shoulders. Again, if you need to go to elbows, do it, okay? Your knees are going to be bent. 
You're just going to keep your right leg out. It comes back in. Out, back in. If you modify, your left knee is down. Okay? Go. So you're kicking out, coming in. Tap your toes back each time <coughs> if you need to. Okay? Do what you need to do to hold your form. Okay? Exhale out, inhale in. You have 15 seconds until we switch sets. 10 seconds. You're almost there. Five seconds. Okay, right leg is in, left leg is out. Okay, make sure those hands are staying underneath your shoulders. Right, you're extending out and in. The lower your right knee gets, the harder it gets. Okay, 15 seconds. Hanging on, head not hanging. 10 seconds. Keep on breathing. You have five seconds. Let's do two more. Okay, so what you're gonna do, left leg comes down, right leg comes out, you hold. Okay, so try to stay up on that left tiptoe. See how that feels. Okay, we're gonna come in, you're gonna switch. Hold. Keep on hanging on to it. Core is tight, left leg is straight. You're gonna switch. Right leg's out. Hold on to it. Stay on that tiptoe if you can. Breathe. And switch. You're doing great. We're almost done. And relax. Okay, we're going to our back and we're gonna do some single leg breakers. Okay, so you have the option. We're gonna have our right leg down. You can have your left leg up in the air or it can be crossed over. Okay, either way, doesn't matter, go for it. So you're either here, or if you want it harder, you're up and down here. Can I scare you? Mm -hmm. He's trying to, he's trying to whip out here. He knows that I'd make him do the harder one. So on this, you can bring your hips down every single time to relax, okay? Relax. That's my version of relax, I guess. So in five seconds, we're gonna act. So you're gonna press up, you're gonna hold, you're gonna do a windshield wiper. So you're gonna come wide and back. As you go wide, your core is not moving. Put your hands on your side for those obliques, okay? If you had your knee crossed, touch your knee and kick out. Knee and kick out, right? There's two options to do this, right? Do what you need to do. And in 10 seconds, we will switch legs. Okay, you're doing a great job. You've got five seconds, three, Two, one, relax down. Left leg down, right leg up. You're pushing up and down. Remember, right leg could be crossed over if you want to. It's still gonna burn you, it still hurts. Any way you do this, I promise. I won't let you, I won't let you get a cheat out of this. I won't make it easy on you. Not ever. So you have 10 seconds, right? You got five seconds. So what you're gonna do, we hold windshield wiper. Wide and back, right? Remember, if you had it on your knee, kick out and back. Whatever you need to do, do it. Keep breathing, control your leg. It doesn't have to go very far for your core to light up on this. You have 15 seconds, okay? You got 10 seconds. You have five, four, three, Two, one, you're gonna relax. Ah! All right, hold our hands and our knees again. So again, we have a hovering position. You're gonna keep your knees bent. You're gonna just have your right leg come up and back. Up and back. If you modify, left knee is down, up and back. Ready? And go. So head is hanging down. You want to look right between your hands, at your fingertips, whatever you like. But your knees should stay bent that whole time. Okay, you got 15 seconds. If you want to, again, tap your toe. Tap your toe. That gives you kind of comfort or security. Do it. 10 seconds. You're doing a great job. You got five. Let's do two more. Here's one, two. We're going to switch. Okay, left leg's coming up. And back, oh yeah. I love when my right side gets to hang out on the floor. So much stronger, okay? Keeping that left knee bent, 
Keeping those arms nice and strong. You're doing a great job. Okay, you got about 10 seconds here. Hang on to your form. You can do it. Five seconds. You're doing great. You got three, two, one. Relax. And we're going to our back toward bridges. Okay, so no matter what, you're going to have both feet down. You're going to hold a bridge, and you're going to kick out straight. So you're just alternating kicking. On this, if you want to make it harder, scoot your feet away from your butt, and it'll be harder. If you want to make it a little bit, I won't say easier, but easier to control, have your feet closer to your butt. Okay, so we've got about 15 seconds like this, and then I'm going to tell you when to hold and switch. Why? Because I like to be bossy. <laughs> Okay, you got five seconds. Okay, we're gonna keep our left leg out. You're gonna hold. The lower your left leg is, the harder it is. Okay, hold on to it. And you're gonna switch. Right leg is out. Okay, if you need to have your leg up higher, you could. You wanna press it over? Sure. And switch. So nice and controlled, you're holding that kick basically. Switch. You're holding that kick. Switch. Holding, holding, holding. And switch. And switch. How many times do you guys want to do this? 20? I don't know. And switch. 50. Switch. I won't listen to him, don't worry. And switch. And relax. Okay. Rolling on over. So we're going to be in a seated position here. Okay, and you're, we're gonna do a tricep dip. So, you have two variations, okay? Variation number one, you'll be on your wrists, okay? So, if you can, your knees would be bent, make sure toes and fingertips point the same direction. You're gonna do a tricep dip. You'd step your leg out, step your leg out, step your leg in, in. Down, up, out, out, and in. Okay, if you modify, you're in the seated position, you're gonna tilt back, you'll step out, out, in, in, come back. If you wanna work your triceps a little more, squeeze your hands together, right? And you'll still get those triceps, okay? Do what you need to do. Do not do this if it hurts your wrists. Modify. You heard me say it, so do it. Ready? And go. So you're up. You're gonna do a dip. You'll come up, you'll step out, step out, step in. Step in, tricep dip. So on this, if you have your legs go out all the way straight, it's a heck of a lot harder. Okay, and remember if you're modifying, you start up, you'll tilt, you'll go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So do what you need to do on this move to make it work for you, right? Keep your knees bent a little more as you step out if you need to. It's gonna hurt you no matter what. Burn you, I should say, burn. I'm gonna burn you. Right, you're doing a great job here. You're over halfway, so that's always good news. I think so. Okay, hanging on to it. Right, I'm doing small steps. You got 15 seconds, mostly because my feet are stuck to my neck. 10 seconds, and I got short legs, so come on. One more set. Out, out, in, in, try to dip, relax. Okay, so our grand finale today is a lot of pulses and hold. So we're going to do a 15 second pulse, 15 second hold, 30 second pulse, 30 second hold, and then we're going to go minute pulse, minute hold. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can pulse. When we get to the minute, I'm going to rotate through all the different pulses so it goes quick. So, option number one legs are in tabletop, you'll crunch and pulse here. You can have your legs out, here's option two. Option number three is the most difficult, okay? That's your three options. When you hold, you can hold in a crunch. You can come up and have those feet slightly down or you're out. All right, so there's all kinds of fun options. So it's gonna be 15, 15, quick breather, 30, 30, quick breather, minute, minute, then we're done. It's gonna go that fast, okay? So go ahead and get started on your back. We're gonna go in three seconds here. You got three. Two, one, you're up and you're pulsing. Okay, so do what you need to do. If your neck starts to hurt, 
put one hand behind your neck to support you, okay? Or you could just do a pulse and crunch. Okay, and you're gonna hold 15 seconds right here. Try to hold right where you're at, work that core. Breathe with it. You have 10 seconds, then we have a quick, quick breather. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Relax back, hug those knees. Okay, so in 10 seconds-ish, we've got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, go, we pulse, okay? So here we are, we're pulsing. And 30 seconds, 30 seconds is gonna feel more evil. Okay, so if you need to modify, you could. There's lots of variations to do, okay? We got 15 seconds. Hold on to it, breathe with it. 10 seconds. Keep on working. Five. And hold. Hang tight. Breathe. Think about the sunshine yesterday. Right? You can do it. Bend your knees if you need to. Let's option. You're almost there. Almost there. 15 seconds. So you're over halfway. Breathe with it. We get a breather after this. 10 seconds. We're almost there. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Hug your knees. Rock side to side. So for our minute, I'm going to mix up the three different variations. So every 15 seconds, I'm going to switch positions and it's going to go a lot quicker. Right? So if you want to do it with me, do it. If not, I don't care. So first one I'll start with is tabletop legs. Are you ready? Last two minutes of our workout. And go. So you pulse right here. You have 15 seconds. Okay? So focusing on that back, remember, if you want one hand behind your head or you pulse, that's fine. You've got plenty of time to switch through these moves, right, on each side. Okay, so now I'm going to kick my legs out and pulse. So we got 15 seconds here. Again, protect that neck. If you needed to pulse and crunch pulse, that's fine too, right? Do what you need to do to protect your neck, okay? And then we're going to come up tall. Okay, I'm going to have 15 seconds here. So we're already over halfway. After this, we've got one more move, and then we hold, okay? So in five seconds, I'm gonna drop back down to tabletop. Okay, I'm gonna go back to tabletop. We're lifting and pulsing, remember, put those hands behind your head if you need it. Lift up high, in 10 seconds, we hold. I'm gonna do the same positions and hold. Five seconds, and lift and hold. Okay, so we got 15 seconds here. Focus on your core, right? If your head hurts or neck hurts, hold your head in position. Give your neck a little extra support. It's still gonna burn, I promise you, okay? Kick those legs out, right? Hold right there. Focus all your energy in that core. Legs are burning, core is burning. It all hurts together, because they like to be friends. Okay, we're coming up high if you can. You can bend your knees if you need it to. It's gonna hurt you, not hurt you. It's gonna burn you. Okay, I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the time. If you wanna drop down to a different position, you can. You've got 15 seconds to hold on right here. I'm gonna try to stretch out my legs as much as I can. Try to challenge yourself the best you can. 10 seconds to go. You've got five, four, three, two, one, relax. Oh yeah. And that's what we call the pulse and burnout. So you should be sweaty. We better check outside to see if it's raining. But great job today. I will see you tomorrow. And it'll be just as fun. Bye.